Welcome back everybody to the second video of Aruba Central using template grid with Aruba OS switches. And in this video, we're going to add our switch, our 2930F 8 port switch to Aruba Central. And then there is multiple possibilities how you can add the switch to Aruba Central, but we are going to do it by a manual process. And after that, we're going to have a look how we can add the switch to a template group and use that particular switch to start building our template and start building our, our variable files based on JSON. So that's what we will do inside this particular video. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. This is roughly the topology. We are using a 2930F 8-port switch that we're going to connect with port 1 to the network, and then it will find the Aruba Central instance and we'll make sure it can connect to this instance so that we can start using it and adding it to template groups. The first thing we need to do is inside is inside central, we go to global settings, and then we go to device inventory. And here you can see you can add switches by cloud activation key, you can add it by importing it from activate, but we are going to do it manually by adding a max slash serial number. So this is not completely zero touch if you're using activate it will be fully zero touch for you so then even if you order a switch it can be act uh, can be added to your activate account and it can be shipped anywhere in the world and it will automatically uh, dial home to your aruba central instance which is very very convenient but in this particular case we're going to add it manually by max serial number you can see we can add up to 32 devices manually and what i already did is I made a copy of the serial number. So this is the serial number of my particular device. I'm going to copy that in here. And then of course, I also need to add the MAC address. Copy and paste it in here and it will automatically put it in the right fields. And then I will do okay. Okay. So you can see here that device import is initiated. It's now part of my central instance. It is not up because it is gray. It is, it is uh, not subscribed yet because we need to uh, add a, a device management token there. But let's first now start up the switch, give it a couple of minutes and make sure it's connected to, uh, to Aruba Central and we take it on from there. So as said, the switch is unsubscribed. So let's make sure we add a subscription to the switch. We go to subscription assignment, select device. Here you can see this is device. You can see the model, the Mac and the serial number. We click and save. Have been assigned subscription. So now what we are going to do next, so let's make sure we connect to our console and we're going to turn on the switch. Power is plugged in. Power is plugged in, switch is booting. Let's give it a couple of seconds before it is boot, and then it will automatically connect to the central environment. And it immediately can be managed because we have assigned it a management token. Okay, that's where the console is. Now you can do show Aruba Central. It's not connected yet. You can do show activate. Oh. You can do show activate provision, sorry. It is enable, that's the key. So what you can do also now is debug ZTP, debug Aruba Central, and then debug and send the destination to your session. So normally you, you shouldn't do this, but just to make sure you get some additional details in this video. If you do show log minus R, you can see here, Here's some debug information coming, cloud send device message, some response message, some heartbeat messages. That's where you can see it's going to sync and the tunnel node will be set up in order to set up a secure tunnel. So let's do no debug all, oh, no debug all. Let's do a show log minus R. And here you can see uh, support mode is disabled, of course. Cloud is logged in to the SSL session. A 
it received a DHCP address based on the DHCP address and the DNS server it received was able to connect to, um, to the activate. So now if you do the show commands, show Aruba central, you can see it is connected. This is server URL and the mode is managed. So that's, uh, that's, that's all correct. So now if everything is correct and we go back to device inventory, you can see we have a switch. It is subscribed. It is in the default group. This is the model. No labels or site are connecting it. This is the name. This is the IP address. And we can see if that's correct. Show IP. And you can see this is the IP address and this is the default gateway and this is the DNS server. So 183, 183. So everything is perfectly fine now. We have assigned it. So I signed it on the manual meta by serial MAC address. Then we made sure we gave it a subscription, switch was booted. I gave you even some debug commands in how to, um, how to uh, add, uh, how to debug the zero touch provisioning, the connection to activate, the connection to Aruba central, and then how to verify for the specific switch that this is, uh, this is connected normally. You don't do that. You just keep on adding switches and the configuration will be pushed. But this is just to give you some additional background in how this uh, this can work. So the next step we need to do now is create a template group and assign this particular switch to the template group. So what we can do now is you can do manage groups. We're still keeping global settings. We can add a new group. Then use it as a template group and see a lot of the things will change because if it is a GUI group, you give it a, an additional pass, password for that particular uh, GUI group UI. That's also the password will be used, but we don't do that. We use it as a template group and we're going to set up the group name ABC networking. Add group. You can see the TG tech in front of it and ABC networking. And then what we can do now is assign this particular switch. This is the switch we, we want to assign to this template group. And then we click the template group. You can see it is not connected. We can drag and drop it on here and we let it go. Monitoring devices to another group, change the configuration, select the device. You want to sure, reboot to continue. Yes. And now our switch is added to a template group. If you want to verify that, we can go here. You go to wired management. Let's go select our template groups. And here we are in our template group with one total device, as you can see, uh, in ABC networking. And that's in the ABC networking group is one device. And that's the switch we just have been added. So into here, I want to pause here. Just recap what we did, edit the switch manually. That's not the only methodology. You can also add it by activate or add it by cloud activation key. Then we make sure we give it a subscription to at least make sure that um, uh, that central can manage this particular switch and we license it. Then the next thing is we booted the switch, uh, gave you some commands to do some additional de debugging, show you the logging, how you can verify some in information show you the show activate and show Aruba central and the show activate provision command in order to verify, um, uh, in order to verify if everything went well, then we created the template group and added the switch to the template group. So the last thing we maybe want to do is see if there is a new software update. So you can go to maintenance, you go to firmware, let's select Aruba. So one thing to make sure is when we do the upgrade, if we just want to do this particular upgrade, we need to make sure that we are not filtering on all, but we are filtering now on the group that we want to do the update from. So the last available release is 16.07. The release I'm running is 16.04. So we can select this switch and we go to the last available. If you want to change this for particular groups or change the settings, let me do this select. You can say which one you want to go here. This is the recommended now for this group. How to reboot. So what we do here is we continue. And it is rebooting. So it's pushing the software, it's rebooting the switch, and then it gets back to the uh, to the new software release. 
So into here, I'm not going to continue this. So you even saw how you can upgrade a switch. So thank you very much. I hope to see you next time. In the next video, we're going to look at how we how you can create templates, how you can create variable files, what the basic workflow is into creating these variable files and templates. And then uh, we will we will push our first template to the switch. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. Thumbs up on the video. If you have any questions, leave comments or send any questions uh, under the video. We will uh, try to respond as fast as we can to you. Hope to see you next time.